Hi guys, Brain here with another commentary video, and today I wanted to talk about one of the big issues with skill-based matchmaking that I don't see a lot of people talk about. Uh, it's not going to be like the way it encourages people to play. We've already talked about that. Uh, we're not going to talk about the backfill issue, uh, although if you want me to make a video on that, I will just let me know in the comments below. But I feel like a lot of content creators have talked about the backfill issue with uh, MMR. I'm going to talk about something else that actually has been a problem the entire time that DVD has ever had a matchmaking system. That... Uh, the new skill based ma matchmaking system has also inherited somehow because i guess we didn't learn i guess i don't know <laughs> before i tell you what that is make sure you like my video and subscribe to my channel because that's the way i know i'm doing good and then let's go ahead and get started so what's this issue that skill based matchmaking has that kind of makes it a glaring issue and doesn't really make it work too well so I want to cover a little bit of backstory. We're going in our, we're getting in our bus. We're going on a field trip. We're going back in time. We're going back in time. So in DVD, you used to have your matchmaking determined based off of your ranks, which are now referred to as your grades. As you know, your grades, you can build them all the way up back up to rank one. You get your, your blood point reward, and then they sink all the way back down. Those grades used to be called ranks, and that's how your matchmaking used to be determined. It was based upon your grades. The issue with the old rank system, is it used to be 20 to 1. Now it's just like Ash, Eerie, you know, whatever. So it would be 20 up to rank 1. And once you hit rank 1, rank 1 meant, quote unquote, that you were the best. But in reality, that was not the case. I had a friend who hit rank 1 in only 200 hours. Just, they were fighting people only of their skill level. And they were doing really, really well because they watch a lot of videos, they watch a lot of Twitch. So they're, you know, kind of more prepared to deal with Dead by Daylight than the average person who just kind of plays it casually. So that homie skyrocketed all the way to rank one in only 200 hours. You know who also was rank one consistently? Ots Darva. You know who was rank one consistently? Scott Judd. You know who was rank one consistently? Otofu. I don't mean this as any offense to my friend, but he only has 200 hours of the game. If he is good, as somebody, referring to Otofu, who literally has legacy on his characters. That is how long he has played this game. That he literally has legacy on his characters. I don't think so. The only issue with rank one, the rank one of the old matchmaking system, was it could mean you had 200 hours, or it could mean you had 6,000. And the game basically had no way to discern anything between these two players like there was like like by their matchmaking system you're both rank one so you're both the best according to the matchmaking system and there was no way for the old matchmaking system to be able to like figure out who was better in that scenario which is why you got so many lopsided matches before because rank one either meant you were super experienced and been a veteran player since beta or you had just picked up the game a month ago and you sped up to rank one just because you played a lot <laughs> which is just not and not at all a good system when you're trying to figure out the best of the best this new skill-based matchmaking system is no longer based off the ranks but it actually has a very very similar problem and it's it's depressing because most other skill-based matchmaking systems have a function for this. Most skill-based matchmaking systems in other games have a reset at a certain point. DBD's skill-based matchmaking system, its max number is 1900, but you have a soft cap that you can go past that where you get uh, diminishing returns as you go past that. But it doesn't ever reset. In other games, it resets. So like after a month or two, you'll go back down to zero and you have, or like to a certain number, like a thousand. And you'll have to work your way all the way back up to like that 1900, right? And that makes a lot of sense because if you stop playing for a little bit or you're just like, you're trying a new killer or you're feeling kind of like out of practice, you're going to also be finding people that are going to be at, you know, 1200 MMR or 1100 MMR. You're not going to be stuck at that constant 1900 and just have to just like get rolled, get rolled, get rolled, get rolled, get rolled by people that are clearly, you know, you know, better than you at this point because you took a break or whatever. And DBD's current skill-based matchmaking system doesn't have that. Once you hit that 900 soft cap, you're basically hovering around that 900 soft cap, uh, basically permanently <laughs> as of now. As of now, that's just kind of like something that's just like the way it is and stays that way for the time being. And how is that not different than the old rank one problem that we used to have? It's essentially, the, this is like when somebody like, like when Scott made YouTube content, or YouTube, when Scott made DVD content, when he used to look at you and go, actually, the skill-based matchmaking system is essentially the same as the old one. A lot of stuff, uh, there's a lot to unpack with that statement, and a lot of the ways he's wrong, 
But this is one of those ways that he is 100% right with that, is that we literally are in the same the same horrible issue that we had with uh, old rank one from the other match matchmaking system, which is why you're in these situations where it's like roll or get rolled, right? Because you could be at 1900 MMR or right around there, but you could have 6,000 hours or you could have 300 hours. It, it literally like, we're in the exact same issue. You can hit that 1900 MMR. You could hit that 1900 MMR and hover around that soft cap and have vastly different skill levels at that, at that cap. And because it never resets, because it never resets, over time as you play, you will eventually reach it regardless of your skill. Because if you just keep playing and keep playing and keep playing, as long as you literally know how to play the game at a base level, you will eventually win enough matches to hit that soft cap. And then once again, we're in the exact same situation we were with the old rank one, where like, it doesn't matter what your skill is, you're eventually gonna hit your 1900 skill-based matchmaking rank, and you're just gonna be stuck there fighting people who may have like may have been veterans from the beta or have just started playing the game and just like grinded it out really hard for the last month. Like it's quite literally the exact same issue. It's quite literally the exact same issue as old rank one. And it's just like, I don't know. I think it's one of those things where you look at it and you just go, why did we do this? <laughs> like, why is this skill based matchmaking in the game? If like, it's going to have so many of the same issues that the old one had, except more miserable. I feel like it's just like, the, it, like in so many ways, the skill-based matchmaking system is just like the old one, the old matchmaking system, except now it has a whole slew of extra problems. So it's like we downloaded a, a bad DLC on top of our normal matchmaking. And it's just, uh, it's just sad. It sucks. <laughs> but yeah, did you realize that this was the a problem with the skill-based matchmaking system? Or do you think there's a bigger problem at present with it that is bigger than the whole like, you know, everybody will eventually hit that soft cap issue? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Other than that, that's it for me today, friendos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And if I don't, I'll see you when I see you, buds. Goodbye.